Atepu, assalamu alaikum, namaste, haru nefer, this is Gasak Maa Keparu with another video for you. And this video, I'm going to title it, Nothing is Real. And before I get into this, please hit the like button, and if this is your first time watching, subscribe to my channel. Now, what we have to understand is that everything around us, which we perceive to be reality or a solid experience is neither. It is all a holographic projection that emanates from within you outward, all right? And it gives off the impression of a so-called reality experience because you believe it's real due to the synaptic connections that are being made in your brain. They're firing off. You feel pain, you feel pleasure, you feel sad. So you're under the illusion that these things that you are experiencing, these feelings, emotions, the, the five senses are real, but they are not. They are akin to when you fall asleep and you have a dream. There's no difference between what we consider this reality and the dream state. Because in, in, in truth, you could be dreaming right now, walking around, going to work, talking with your co-workers, talking with your friends, your mate. That could be the dream. And the reality could be what you think you dream at night when you fall asleep. But it's all real, including your dreams, because we know that um, existence has no place for non-existence. So in some shape or form, your dreams are real in that sense because there is the alternative space and the alternative space is what you pull from when you vibrate to a different frequency you pull from that alternative space and you bring it here into this space which we call linear space time the this present now moment because the past and the future do not exist only this now moment so whenever you have let's say for example um, a belief system a strong belief system say you're walking like I'm walking now and I'm thinking about a couple kissing, and they miraculously appear. It's not a coincidence, call John call it synchronicity, but we know that what you're doing is you're pulling from the alternative space into this reality. You're walking along and you're thinking about a purple polka dotted dog, and suddenly you see one and it freaks you out. And you're like, wow, I was just thinking about that. Well, you manifested it by uh, going to that particular frequency, by resonating on that frequency that allowed you to move into the alternative space and interact with the animal. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because you're God, man, God, woman, this is how it operates. So what you have to understand is when you're having these interactions that the rules are subject to change. Don't get into your mind or adapt the hard and rigid belief system as if that could never happen to me or I could never get a million dollars. I could never get the mate of my dreams. I could never get the house or car of my dreams. My ship will never come in. No, you have the same power as God, Netzer, Yahweh, not in quantity, but in quality. So you can manifest these things by pulling them to the, from the alternative space. Vadim Zeeling calls it the alternative space to this present now moment. Just by changing your emotions, how you feel about something, when you dwell on something with a strong intent and emotion, then it manifests. That's how it works. So I want you to think about that. But in the meantime, stop thinking that this reality is static. It's real. It's not changing. It does change all the time. Well, in actuality, to be truthful, you're shifting through multiverses. It is changing, but you're the one that's moving through these multiverses and encountering different things based on your emotional resonance. Okay? So anytime you want something, just, just um, take in the belief system that you already have it, empower it with an emotion, and watch it pull from the alternative space and miraculously manifest into this fourth dimensional time space reality. It's true. It can happen. It always happens. But because we have an evil, sadistic, um, ruling elite whose only goal is to take you away from your power they want you to believe that you need a savior or that you're powerless that you cannot change the so-called reality that you are a victim to it 
that you are not the cause of things in the world, but the, uh, you know, like the effect. You know, you're subject to the effect of it. So anyway, think about that. This is Kasank Ma Keparu, son of Tudi Ma'at. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Until my next video, I'm in Ra.